Excuse me, ma'am. That day, we cooked the bulgur, the bulgur wheat to end the aubergine dish. But Nagme only ate from the aubergine dish. Could that alone have made her ill, you think? I don't think so. If I ate two plates myself, I would have gotten sick too. Think she could have eaten something else? Can you remember? <sighs> no, madam, I can't. For crying out loud. Will Nagme even be here for dinner? Who knows what she eats outside this farm? I guess you're right. But we still have to be more careful, Sukran. Hmm? I certainly will, ma'am. What's gotten her all nervous? Maybe she got ill from something she ate outside of the farm. She is probably trying to reach the toilet as we speak. <laughs> Behave yourselves. You are just so funny. You must pray, my dear, that Sukran doesn't remember that herb tea. Or else Barraquette will ruin the both of us. Don't worry about anything, Auntie. See that? She can't even remember what meal she cooked. Looks like we don't have to do a thing from here on out. Those two will finish off each other and bang, we're good! <laughs> hmm. If you had believed me, instead of the people around you, we wouldn't have gone through all this! What do you mean by that? This stuff about Sebnim? Who filled you in? Hakan, wasn't it? Don't you blame Hakan for what you failed to do, all right? I can't believe you are so blind. Can't you see? He told you on purpose. He knew we would fight. Stop with this, Edgeter. Hakan would never do that. And besides, it was my mom who told me. He told her on purpose, too, because he knew she was going to tell you. So now Hakan's the enemy here? So what? Maybe. Look what's happened because of him. It's not because of him, it's because of you. Stop blaming others for the mistakes that you make, all right? You should not have lied I about I swear this. I didn't lie to you, Nagme. I'm so sorry. Let me go. I'm so sorry. Let me I'm go. I'm so sorry. Let go. I'm so sorry. I said I'm sorry. When I was a little boy, I had nightmares. I'd find myself walking in a, in a dark forest in my dream. I would get so scared. I would try to scream, but nothing would come out. I'd try to run, but I wouldn't be able to move a muscle. I'd be so horrified when I found I couldn't move any further. 
Then I would wake up screaming. I wouldn't be able to sleep all night. I'd be too embarrassed to tell my mom. I'd lay frozen until the sun would rise again and take away all the fears I was feeling. Sometimes, when I speak to you, I feel like I'm in that nightmare again. I scream, but nothing comes out, and I'm paralyzed. Paralyzed with fear that our sun won't rise again. So I make you feel like you're in a nightmare then, huh? No. You're the son that wakes me from my nightmares. The mother of my child, my tomorrow, my hopes, my everything. All I could ever dream of. If not me, then what makes you feel that bad? The way we communicate. Sometimes you're so obstinate that not even a scream penetrates. You don't listen to me. You are so wrong, Edgder. I... I give you the chance to be heard, but you... You just choose to keep things from me. That day I asked you what's up. You said the meeting's going to be delayed. You did not tell me about Sebnem. Because it never occurred to me to tell you about it, that's all. Problem is it should have, Edgder. Why can't you? Why is it so hard to understand me, huh? I do understand you. No, you don't. If we did, we'd be fine right now. I don't think you want to believe me, do you? All right. Then that's how it is. Believe whatever you want to believe. Ha <laughs> ha